What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are getting some stuff done on the truck today. So I need to figure out what I am doing with door panels. These stock panels I had, had a big cutout for speakers and they are, they're kind of torn up. You can see over there. So I'm gonna figure out a way to fit these panels. So these are I believe from 90, 96 to 98 or 99 or something, Tacoma. So they are actually pretty close. And the reason I like these ones is they have this big pocket and they already have a the, the spot for a speaker. So if I can get these to fit, they're definitely gonna be pretty nice. Um, so just matching these up side by side, you can see, let me get it. That's pretty close there. So you can see the Tacoma is taller and the front actually has, it doesn't uh, curve in as much at the top and that top, this top here hanging off the front actually hits my door seal here when you close the door. So what I think I'm gonna do is take this panel and flip it over and you can see this whole plastic section is well, basically it's all this cardboard um, is screwed on to the plastic frame. And then this is just clipped on to this top, which has a metal frame. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is rebuild this section here, make it shorter because the only reason I want to rebuild the whole thing is these holes don't match up perfect either. This cutout is pretty close but these are these door handle or the little yeah I guess it's the handle those are way off and then yeah like I said I need to shorten the whole panel so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to go about shortening the plastic section because that well, I guess that only runs up to here and then up so I'll just have to somehow shorten it up here um, and then this is basically this is just glued on so i think what i'll do is pull that off a little bit and i'll just cut this body line or cut that line to match the stock panel and then it should fit <clears throat> the only only other problem is a lot of these clips don't line up so either i'm gonna have to drill new holes probably drill new holes in the door for these ones in the plastic and then on my new panel the new section I'm building for this, hopefully I can drill the holes in it to line up with the factory holes on the actual, on the door on the truck. So I'm going to tear this panel apart and uh, kind of figure out what I'm going to do with it. So that's the game plan. Um, but everything always changes, I guess, once you dive into it. So let's tear this thing apart, see what we can figure out. All right, guys, I got that top piece separated and got it in the truck and it actually fits really good. I thought I was going to have to shorten that because um, when I had the whole panel together, I kind of set it on here and it was hitting, but now I can close the door all the way and there's, uh, there's plenty of room. So... That's good, we ain't got to screw with the top section. So now I think what I'm going to do is get that, I think I'll get the plastic piece kind of mapped where I want it, and then um, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do for material wise for this section here. Um, I kind of, I want to get more of a gray. That one has a lot of blue and purple in it. I kind of want a, just a, a gray, gray um, cloth to wrap. Um, so I got to figure out that. And then I also got to figure out what kind of board I'm going to use. I have that ABS plastic still, which may be a good option because it won't, you know, get waterlogged over time. You know, this stuff's kind of like a cardboard material. So when it gets wet, it swells up and it starts getting soft and crappy. So I don't know. I'm going to get that plastic piece on get it where I want it and then 
I can map out that center section. All right, we got the that whole pod deal on. And you can see how much I need to cut it. So actually one of those, a couple of those clips are really close. I'm gonna use that one there. Um, and it's not, it's not perfect, but that's the bottom of the door panel. I mean, you're never gonna see it. You can tell it's a little bit at an angle, but if I bring it up to where it should be like that, then it sticks too far forward and that hits my seal. So I'm gonna have to bring it back just a little bit like that. And once it's together, you're never going to notice that little bit of an angle. So I think what I'm going to do is I think it'll be a lot easier just to trim this plastic off. And instead of trying to notch all this out, um, and then because that, I mean, I'd have to strip all this, this, uh, whatever it is off the cover off, strip that off, cut it all out and then recover it all. And I don't know, I think it'd just be a lot easier and it would, it would look just plenty fine because it's going to be, you can see there's the gap there <clears throat> or the thickness of that is the same thickness as the panel and it doesn't get any thicker. So it's going to sit nice and flush against the bottom of that panel. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to trim that top off and then that pot will be on there. I'll just have to drill a couple holes for the mounting clips and then just build the rest of this panel. All right, we got that mounted up, got all the holes drilled, and that's about where I want it. I'm just gonna have to figure out some way to secure this top so it's not flopping around. But door closes. So that should work pretty good. So now I just need to figure out what exactly to build that, that center section out of. Hey, look at that. It's starting to look like a door panel again. So everything's screwed on. This whole section is screwed on. And then all I need to do is clip, find the holes for these and get those clips in. So just a couple little adjustments I gotta make. Gotta trim that edge right there. And then I gotta read, just move this hole up just a little bit. But other than that, it looks really good. All right, what I decided to do is use my factory panels and just cut, basically just cut the front off, unclip this top section. And the nice thing about that is all my holes are gonna line up, obviously. And yeah, I won't have to re-drill anything really. All these clip holes around the hole outside are gonna line up. And I just, I don't have anything else to make it out of, so. I was going to use that ABS, but it's not very rigid, like I said. It's kind of flimsy, and I actually can't even make two panels out of that. So, plan B. Let's, uh, let's cut this front section out, get that top off, and all we really got to do after that is clip the top in, and then just drill all the holes to mount that, that front section.
we got this panel cut out and ready to go. So I already got the holes drilled for that and that. They're the little aligning pins. So that's all aligned. Um, so now I just need to drill all these holes for the screws. So an easy way to get all those holes aligned accurately is take some touch up paint. This one's got a little brush on it and put some paint on every one of these tabs or the little mounts and then get your holes aligned with those pins, stick it on there. And then obviously the paint's gonna transfer right to here and then you just go drill it out, easy. So I'm gonna do that, get that secured and then we can get that top piece on. All right guys, there we go. You can see the all the little dots of paint. So I'm gonna drill all those out, screw that piece on, and we're good to go there. All right, there we go. That thing is done. This is secured. So I need to run to town and find some fabric, <clears throat> wrap that center section. We can put it all back together and that thing is done. So I am stoked I got these to work. It's gonna be super nice having a speaker in the door. And then I'm also gonna run this, the factory speakers up here. And yeah, that should be pretty sweet. All right guys, got back from town and picked up some material for my for the door panel. So <clears throat> this stuff is, um, I don't know, kind of a more of a carpety feel to it. It's kind of similar to what the factory use it's kind of a more yeah, I don't know how to explain it more of a carpet material but it's not I mean, it's super super smooth fine um, and then I got some foam uh, the factory uses like eighth inch thick foam this is a quarter this is the thinnest stuff they had so I'm hoping it's gonna work and not interfere with like the window crank and the door handle what I may actually do around those is just cut that foam back like a half inch or a quarter inch. That way there's no interference with the actual handle. And for that one too, that one's not gonna be a problem, but we'll, uh, we'll see once we get that foam on there. I'll decide what to do. I'll kind of set it up on the truck and see what it's looking like. So I'm gonna get the foam on and this is what I'm using for glue, some pro stick, high strength adhesive. Um, so it's made for carpet, foam, all sorts of stuff. So it should work pretty good. So I'm going to get the coat on the panel, get, uh, that foam cut out. And I'm just going to do a rough cut, stick it on, and then I'll just trace around the panel. Be a lot easier that way. And then we can decide what to do with the, the handle holes and everything. And then we can glue on this, uh, fabric here. guys we got both panels done turned out really good I'm uh, I'm happy with with uh, how they look the material and how they fit they really actually fit pretty good so there's passenger side driver sides here and got the roller there still not a hundred percent I still got to drill just one hole right there for the little push clip but other than that, we are good to go. So I need to order up some speakers for these and I'm gonna throw a head unit in here. So I need to order up all that stuff. We can rip the panels back off and do the whole sound system. So stay tuned for 
one of the one of the next videos i'm not sure when i'm gonna get around to it but it is definitely coming soon so it is time to answer some of your guys' questions first one i got is are you keeping or selling the truck i plan on keeping the truck for at least a while um hopefully a long while it has been a project for a year now and to finish the truck after a year of working on it and sell it right away would just be stupid so i plan on keeping it for a while at least next question is am i getting a new windshield yes of course i'm getting a windshield uh i am just waiting for the paint to harden up enough i'm having it done professionally i've tried doing them in the past and they've always leaked so i just want to let that paint cure up harden up so there's less of a chance of them scratching it up so once uh i'll probably give it a couple weeks and then have a new windshield put in next question would you do a project like this again of course and i plan on doing more like this um nothing has been set in stone yet i got some ideas so we will see what happens but like i said i want to finish this truck get it done before i dive into another project a question i keep getting asked is miles per gallon um i haven't driven this thing enough to know i've i haven't checked it yet like you guys have seen, I have seriously just been working on it. I have probably maybe 100 miles on it so far. Uh, the last couple days I've actually been driving it and it's been running really good, driving really good, other than that one clutch issue. That's the only issue I've had so far. So clutch is on the way. You'll see that video soon. So stay tuned on the channel. So yeah, uh, once we drive it more, I need to fill the thing up and check mileage. And I'm assuming 20 to 25 maybe it's on 35s i've seen people with other trucks with tdis get 28 but they're you know on 31s or 33s so i'm guessing probably 25 to be safe uh, my car has the same motor and i'm getting 45 with that so should get pretty decent for what it is all right guys hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think of these panels i think they turned out pretty sweet it's definitely going to be nice having that whole bottom piece with the speaker in it all kind of factory looking. That's what I wanted. I, don't, I, I really don't like the look of just a speaker just bolted right to your panel. I like having that whole grill and the whole surround and everything. So it's going to be nice. So I'm going to order up some speakers and we can get that done. But for now, that is all we got. So I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.